Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to talk to you about something that I do very often um, and that is finding good looking Gado for or Gadoice 14 grafts. Um, I don't know if I pronouncing the name right but sure. Um, so f f just as a showcase this is uh, this is a little craft I bought back in the day uh, like a few months ago for 90 euros and I flipped it for about 200. Um, and that's because I found some very good ways to find these crafts. And again, um, these I've picked up recently as well. My friend's a really big fan of mouse sports and especially the Kato 14 stickers. And these were about 20 euros each. So um, they were pretty cheap for what they are. I've, I believe at least, I mean, it's up to you to demand if they're really cheap. But I'm not going to tell you to buy them. I'm just going to show you how to find these crafts. Um, I'm gonna go over all different methods I use um, and which one I prefer and how you're gonna get the best deals. So first off, I wanna start uh, by the most simple way possible, which is the Steam Community Market. Now for this, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna go to the Steam Market. Don't mind all this stuff going on right now. We're gonna click on the Counter-Strike Global Offensive and then we're gonna go to Show Advanced Options. So this is going to be the easiest way. You don't need any um, extensions in, in principle for this um, what you're just going to use is the steam uh, market so what you're going to do is put in parentheses to make sure you find those and then you make sure you have this box checked because it says include description so it includes if there's stickers on the skin so what you're going to do is you're going to see all these stickers here we're going to sort by price um, so it's going to start with all the stickers that are not for sale right now and then you can go on to uh, skin selection of the stickers. Now the souvenirs are also a bit scuffed most of the times. Maybe there's a nice uh, M4A1S Nitro pedal scart for sale. This 3D Max probably scratched a bit. Yeah, there you go. So for this, if you want to see if the sticker scratched, you do need uh, a plugin. So like CSGO Float, I think, or Steam Inventory Helper will work. Um, but yeah, don't buy this because it's, it's, it's scratched a bit and this is not worth the value they're asking anymore. Unless it's zero percent scratch, it's not worth it. Like the only one of these that I would ever like consider buying is probably the Fnatic one because it's not scratched. Um, but that's way too expensive for a craft like that. All right, so if you want to find um, specific stickers or just hollow stickers, what you're going to do is type in hollow here, make sure the checks include it, and you're going to search for it. And sort by price, starting at the lowest, probably start at page two or something. There you go. Well, there's some nitro, but we looked at nitros just now, and I've oh no, no, it's battle scarred. Maybe there's a good looking sticker on here. Um, it's a hundred percent scratched. I'm pretty sure it's a hundred percent because it's supposed to be at zero percent. That's the good stuff you want to see. It's way too expensive though. One hundred and forty-six. That's crazy. That's criminal actually. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that's how you find all these skins with the hollow stickers on there. And again, you have to type this very precisely. Oh, sorry, my bad. Um, if you want to find a specific sticker, for example, the Titan hollow, include your descriptions. And there you go, stickers with the Titan hollow. But as you can see, people charge way too much for it on the Steam market. I wouldn't bother buying most of the stuff on the Steam market, but occasionally you can get a good snipe in. Now I want to go on to the next uh, biggest trading site, obviously. So we're now going on to Buff, um, Buff 163 that is, so not the crazy like American kind of version I guess. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to log in, log in on Buff um, using uh, your Steam account obviously and a mobile number. Then we're going to go to Market and in the Market we're going to um, go to Stickers, Customize, and then you can either search for the sticker you want or we go to Katowice 2014. Um, we select a sticker we really, really like. For example, the iBuy Power Hollow. You can do by slot or you can just do one and see what pops up. Um, I want to sort by the lowest price because I like to be a cheap ass. Um, let's look at a Blue Fisher because it suits my purple inventory kind of. Um, and there you go. It is 100%. So here it's 100% doesn't mean it's not scratched. So that's good. Um, but it's shit position, so you should keep that in mind. It's not a very good deal after all. Now that is buff, um, and I like this way if you're like searching for a specific sticker, right? Then it's a good way. But for the next step, I'm gonna take you to my mobile phone. Um, 
you're going to go to the Play Store or um, iOS Store, or whatever you're using. I'm using Android. This is the Buff app. Make sure it's by NetEase. You can just log in the same way as you do on the website. Uh, we're going to open it. Open this Buff. And now this 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 app is quite a lot better for this purpose than the than the site in my belief because you have on top here you have the home halt trends like there's special uh, selections there and you can very easily swipe to the left of it and as you swipe you find the 2014 cat witch tab and it's really nice um, you get all the stickers or like all the skins on buff with Kato stickers like not a specific sticker but all stickers. Um, and you can obviously sort, oh, sorry, my bad. You can sort by price. So this is going down, but we want to go up because we like cheap crafts um, and we're poor people. So you see a lot of souvenirs here, which are like, mm, I don't really like that much. So you can go by sorting. Um, you can choose either whether you only want hollows. And if you want more than three, more than two. So if you want to go three or more, we're going to get a lot more, more expensive crafts, but also a lot more unique crafts. So if you go three, you'll see a lot of souvenirs still, especially if you sort by lowest price, like I do right here. So in that case, we're going to go by four. And now we're going to check this out. It takes a while to load, but that's okay. Um, you're still going to find some souvenirs, but as you can see right now, there's, there's some more skins like this. Um, and let's just check one of these because I like a FAMAS Pulse myself. I have one with a mouse sports. Um, it's not that expensive, 666 RMB. Are the stickers still in okay condition? 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, great. Um, and now, yeah, if you're familiar with buff, you can just buy it if you have the balance. Um, if you don't have the balance, you first probably have to sell some something on buff or um, well, if you're Chinese, obviously no problem. Um, so yeah, that's how you find good sticker builds on buff. Now we're going on to my next favorite site, um, which is Skimport. Well, Skimport is by far my favorite site, but it has a lot of fees. So if you're doing flipping stuff and, and, and stuff like that, you, you might want to just stay on buff. Um, but Skimport has a lot of... Um, well, West, I would say European use, just Western users in general that use this. It's a German site, it's very reliable. Um, so we start on the homepage um, and we're going to click on see all Cisco skins. Now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down a little bit um, and then you have this extras, uh, sorry, then you have, sorry it's over here. Um, we're going to search for a sticker um, and what stickers you like depends on your your preference, but for now we're going to go in I buy power again. Um, nice little hollow. There's not too many of those on Skimport. Again, I'm going to sort by cheapest first. I mean, you can. There's not that many of them, but you can look at it. Yeah, it's, it's quite expensive for like a B2K frag cam, but it's an I buy power hollow, so kind of makes sense. This one's a bit nicer, I believe, because it also has the Team LDLC, which is quite expensive. Um, you're going to find a lot of AWP red lines, but yeah, again. We can just click on one of these skins. Well, our graphite's a bit expensive, but you can here see that it's unscratched, so you know that it's going to be good. You can inspect it in game. You can view it in the Steam inventory if you want to know if it's ranked or not. You can look at screenshots. It's just an awesome site for this. Um, and again, you can search by different stickers as well if you want to. If you want to, if you're feeling a little spicy and you want to go for a little Titan Hollow. Um, there we go, Titan Hollow Katowice 14. Cheapest first again. This one's a. Uh, cheaper but then again I don't like guardians I do like these uh, these famases so let's take a look it looks quite nice um, but again you can inspect it in game view its theme screenshot check the stickers um, and that's how you find a crazy crafts on skimport So now we're going on to uh, the next site, which is Skin Baron. Obviously, Skin Baron is not as big as Skimport or Buff, um, but I believe it's quite useful. As you can see, I'm not signed in right now, but I do use it occasionally, but you don't have to sign in to use it, which is nice. Um, and you can just look for it over there. Now, what you're going to do is um, press this Get Started button, which takes you to all skins on the entire site, so stickers, whatever, but that doesn't matter. Um, we're going to scroll down here and we're going to play, uh, like press the sticker button on extras and we're going to search, but we don't have to search for a specific sticker, which is what I like about this site and why I use it, even though it sometimes is a bit expensive, but you can just search for Katowice 2014 and then we're going to sort by lowest price again. See, there's your, well, bit of a ninjas in pajamas. 
Um, it's not, it's not great what's on here, but like I said, sometimes you get a good deal because the people on here are mostly clueless. Like the P250 splash I showed, I showed you in the beginning. That's a skin I got from here as well. Um, so for now, I just want to find a skin that looks kind of nice. Um, let's go for this, this one. Um, now something I've noticed here is, well, you can inspect it in game, obviously. But that's not going to tell you if it's scratched, because you can't see if a sticker is only slightly scratched, right? Um, so for that, we have a bit of a problem. Um, I don't think they put it on here. Oh, well, they do. If you go for 3D inspect, you see that the stickers are not scratched at all. That's good. Um, I was going to show you a different method, but this works fine. So you get the 3D inspect to check whether your stickers are okay. Um, and that's how you find them on Skin, skin Baron. Uh, again, you can, you can like make this if you want to find for hollows stuff like that you're gonna find hollows um, but again that's up to you depends on what you're looking for um, and now I want to go on to the last site which I think is useful in many different ways as well so I'm just gonna show you how I use it so we're going on to bro skins well if you're a bit into skins you know what bro skins is obviously Tony an account um, there's quite a few useful tools on here but we're going to start with the Cato 2014 stickers um, or section I should say as you can see um, it tells you it should be on different shops so CS money bit skins and buff I don't think it works like that anymore um, because the only shop I tend to see is bit skins I don't know why, but it is like that. So I'm going to put it on 200 entries. You can see there's a lot of skins on here, but it's a very easy tool to search through the bit skins. Um, uh, inventory, like all the skins they have on offer. So I want to search for a specific skin or specific sticker. I can type it up here. So for example, I want a blue fisher, but does it have maybe a Titan for us? Yes, it, do. it does. Let's see. Kenny has Krakow, oh, that looks nice. And we're gonna click on this on the left here, this little round thing. Oh, it has two Titans actually. And a 3 Mac, which is scratched. Um, but as you can see, the important stickers are not scratched, and that's the most important part. It's a shame of the Kenny has Krakow, because I like the Krakow stickers a lot. Um, but yeah, you can get your information here. And then you can find at the bottom here the shop URL, which we're gonna click, and it's gonna take you to Bitskins. For this, you will have to log in if you wanna buy it. Um, I don't use it too often, but I've have sniped some deals off here. Now you can see it's quite expensive as we saw before, but I just want to draw your attention to it that you can still see information on the stickers here as well. Um, and if you do um, want to inspect some of these skins as well, I recommend you go to the uh, screen stuff. As you can see, I've looked at some stuff here as well. It's going to tell you some very interesting stuff. So let us go to Bitskins, the website. This works with every link, by the way, for inspecting um, in game. So we're going to go to the inspect in game link. We're going to copy it, copy link. You're going to paste it in here. So it's the run steam link. There you go. Um, it's going to say to us, oh, well, above Mac is the best place. So where the Kenny S is supposed to be. It's kind of scratch. Yeah, that's, that's a big, that's a big F. Um, but those are quite nice. Those are quite nice. Not scratch is going to tell you how much the stickers are approximately worth. It obviously can't tell you that for the scratched ones. But it does say to you, well, okay, they're pretty, pretty expensive right now. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy this line. And we're going to go into their server. So we're just going to click this. You have to set it up the first time to accept it. Um, but there's a little um, explanation on the website for that. So we're just going to click it. And then we're going to inspect this gun. 2,000 years later. So we are in the server right now. So what you're going to do is you're going to just walk over there somewhere. It doesn't matter where. Um, and then I'm going to just control V this into the, the, the chat. As you do. Uh, it might take a while because it's a bit laggy. And there you go. We have our Glock skin right here. Uh, and so you can look at your crafts as well. Are they going to go nicely with your gloves? Are they going to go nicely with whatever it is you're trying to accompany? Uh, maybe you want to see if it goes nicely with your knife. Kind of looks okay to me, but like 900 euros for this is way too expensive, obviously. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you find these crafts. Um, pricing is up to you, whether you think it's worth it or not. Um, but obviously some prices are just outrageous and you should never pay for it because well, you might want to cash out one day and you will never get enough back for it. Um, 
But again, pricing is up to you. Um, I just show you the methods how to find them. If you have any more methods or tips for anybody else, just leave them in the comments down below and um, it might help someone out. So yeah, I hope you ha enjoyed this video. I hope it will help you a lot in finding your special Kato 14 crafts and uh, I will see you in the next.